And welcome back to the long run where we are playing as Spyro the Dragon Reignited. Uh, Night Flight sure is a thing. We're going to, uh, uh, the sound effects are really out of sync on my end. I don't know about you. But uh, let's give this another go. So now this time we're going to pay attention to only the arches. And then once we hit that last arch, we want to bank left to find the first lighthouse. There we go. That was a little tighter than it needed to be, but uh, also not really that hard if you know how. Also, the description that I read on uh, whatever website that was was really a lot more descriptive than it needed to be. Anyway, let's go find the balloonist and get the hell out of here. But not before taking another plunge in the death water. You found so much stolen treasure. Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. Let's do it. Are we gonna spin again? Spin! I don't know why it's spinning so much. It shouldn't be doing this. I heard you. Where are you? Son of a bitch! You've got to be kidding me. Cosmos, tell me about this place. Welcome to Magic Crafter. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. So, we need to kill sons of bitches. Got it. Son of a bitch! There we go. Gotcha this time. There is a non-zero chance that I actually have enough dragon eggs to keep going. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Oh, well, someone's having a grand old time somewhere around here.
Ow. Well, there goes Sparks. Son of a bitch! Get over here. One of the easier ones to get. Because, uh... You just straight up don't have to worry about... It's easier and kind of not that easy as well. It's just a tight circle, but the fact is, it's a pretty tight circle. Had him there. Get over here, you son of a bitch. There you go. Okay, we've been now. this we're looking at here. Mentor, can you tell us about this? When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent! Go ahead, try it. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and try it. Roomies. That was pretty cool. We found the wizard of the coast. We did it. We found where they're gathering magic. We also found Boldar. This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. Don't I say. When I was a young dragon. Earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. No respect for the elderly. None at all. So there's this uh, strong box here. wonder if we can use that supercharge to break that strong box. He says, not actually wondering anything. You can also use supercharge to break regular lock boxes. Thus, Precluding the need to find the key. Ooh. Spring box with a 25er in it. Oh. So this. Speaking of key, there's a key. I think this is our boss for here. Yep, that's blow hard. I can't remember how to get over there.
Or is that the entrance? Is that where we came in from? I don't know. Oh, let's see where Sparks takes us. time unaware of their own demise this way up there ah this blending in with the scenery I see hmm There's a, uh, yeah, there's a cave there that I just spotted. Where was that cave? Okay. Do it for real this time. There we go. Open up this box and we find not a whole lot, but it is the rest of what's in here. So we have an abundance of choice, but let's go ahead and start out with Alpine Ridge. Just enough for the way too many gems each of these stages have. And it only goes up from here. Where are you going there, Spyro? I don't understand why for like some stages he just flies right up like that. Ow. Actually, no, that didn't hit. Also, I sure am glad that Spyro can stop on a dime. Eventually. You'll get me first though. Zane, professional idiot. Again, very strange delivery, but whatever.
get over there before the platforms move again. Eldred. Thank you for releasing me. You know, one concern that I have about this dragon society is the fact that everyone here is male. Where do the eggs come from? It's not the time to be scratching my nose. Xander. Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the magic crafter's world. I think from here we might be able to fly over there, but that's not where I want to go yet. Now I want to go over there. Uh, we're not going to make it. Nope. Well, at least there was a checkpoint right at the top there. There we go. For that matter, this thing almost bumped us off. This is too close to the edge. It's also the fact that we have to worry about it exploding. So we need to get out of the way of that too. jerk. Galvin, tell me about this jerk. Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. In fact, I already have. It's like I'm about to take care of this son of a bitch. I feel like I'm not making a whole lot of headway here. Oh, there we go. I think, I think it got stuck on the geometry there. I think that's what happened. So one last lap to get the gems. And 
And that's not everything. In fact, there's still a fair amount left. That's just the beginning of the stage, though, isn't it? Oh, there are some gems there. There's also some gems hidden over here that I missed the first time. That second child was blind, but hey, we got it. We got it. Ow. Oh, there's a third one, that's why. Also missed this single red gem. That's unpleasant. Aha! This should be the last two. 500, 500, 100% level complete. Let's get out of here. Unfortunately, that son of a bitch is not going to give us another egg, so let's just go straight to high caves. I think, if I'm not mistaken, high caves has an interesting feature to it that we'll uh, get into once we get into it. Ah! We're on fire! I've been shot! I'm on fire! These guys are not friendly. Basically, once you're in a position that they possibly can chase after you, they immediately will. And uh, there's basically no way for us to deal with it. I didn't leave anything behind. Let's see, where's safe here? Oh, over here. 
There's also that dragon over there. Yeah. Ajax. What say you? I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Good to know. Also, yes, this is uh, this is exactly what I was talking about. You see those fairies over there? Well, this looks like an abyss. I mean, it sure is. But if we fall down this abyss, we'll be completely safe and be carried over to here at the top of the supercharger ramp. Sure enough, we can use the supercharge to take care of those spiders. Not really the best way to do it, but it is a way that is available to us. And it is something that we do need to do in order to kill everything. But maybe there is a better way. As hark, what light through yonder window breaks. Let's call this girl Juliet for the sake of narrative. Spyro gets all fired up and runs into the spider anyway. And unfortunately that ran out. I think there's still one left. Yeah, there is still one left. I don't know if I can get that far with... Well, let's try. But we might have to actually do it with the supercharge. That's not the way. Nah, sure enough. We we don't have enough time to do that. We have to take care of that bottom spider with the supercharge. Camera, please. What are you doing? <sighs> Come on. Yes, with the power of kiss. That's, uh... No other reason. Come on. Uh, this is hard. I think I got him. Nope! There he is. Uh. Alright, it is through here. Uh, 
Okay, definitely got him that time. This little alcove exists. Let's see. From here, I should be able to get here. Oh, great. Where are you? I'm glad that they realize that this area is basically like a rife for failing miserably and just falling into the abyss forever. And so they decided, hey, let's make this let's make this a free area. So we can deal with this son of a bitch. That was some weird glitching you did there, buddy. Not sure what happened there. I think basically what happened is, like, he got far enough ahead of me that uh, he decided to stop. But it was, like, right just off the edge of that platform. So physics got a little weird there, because that was not an expected thing to happen. But yes, another thing to know about the supercharge is if you jump at the very end of a supercharge, like if it like lips up like that, uh, you can get a pretty big bounce out of it. Cedric, what can you tell me about it? Try combining your supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves. Oh, that might actually be useful. That didn't help us get up there, though. Yeah, sure enough, Sparks is pointing up there. He 
feel like that jump was actually pretty high and that we might be able to make it up there if we are supercharging. This this uh this turn is kind of hard to make. See, that was almost definitely high enough. <laughs> run, run down slope really fast as a valve platform verb. Ah, oh, man. Like, how did I not make that? Come on. But you can't tell me that's not the intended solution. Or at least one of them. There we go. Oh, yeah, we are approaching this backward. That's what's happening. And this is an endless abyss. Yeah, I did that backward. That's what happened. I supposed to go up here. For that matter, the rest of the um, of the gems are going to be up here too. Let's not flame our fellow dragons, shall we? Cyrus. Please do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. Okay, so that's all the dragons. No. Mm. Okay, but there's still forty five gems left. Yeah, this is how we're supposed to get up here. I guess there's still some gems around here, too. Son of a bitch! You know what's fine? We got it. Okay, 
Alright, so where are the remaining gems around here? They leave some in here. Actually, I do seem to recall around where the fairy is. Aha, there we go. That's some of them. That's the rest of them. Okay. I'll leave the flight level for later. Somehow we both missed each other there. I'm just gonna smile and nod. Blow hard over there. We're gonna go to Wizard Peak. Then we'll go to Blow Hard. Then we'll go to Crystal Flight. As is the order that I've decided that we're doing this. The three regular stages, then the boss, then the flight stage. Also, at this point, I am completely certain that we have more than enough dragon eggs to move on to the next home world. I feel like we should be able to just barely, ow, get clipped by this ogre. Jarvis, what you got? Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. It's the best supercharged spot for bashing wizards, you see. So you stand up here, you're like, hey wizards! Your magic sucks. There we go, thoroughly bashed. Also, we can charge them. Okay, we should be able to use this supercharge to bash. Well, 
Provided that we don't we don't jump over it. There we go. Well, that was poorly executed. Oh, geez. Let's not get hit one more time. Yeah, I, I, I know you're there. Don't worry. I'm aware of your whereabouts. Texas. Got any advice about these supercharges? Well done, Spyro. Thank you for releasing me. Yeah, sure don't. Bitch. Trying to be a little cautious here because uh we don't have a security net out. Get away. Squish indeed. At least we're doing good on lives. Uh, that was kind of a jerk placement, though. What you got, Lucas? Maybe you can tell me more about the supercharger ramps. Listen carefully, Spyro. Oh. A secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's home world? Waterfall. Sounds good. And he's the guy who tells you how to get into the first flight level if you didn't already do that. I do kind of wish there was variant dialogue on like, well, I've already done that. Like, oh, cool. All right. I think. Oh, hmm. All right, so there's a lip up here. So we need to direct to supercharge in that direction. precariously going around here. <laughs> All right. Wait, there's something over there. Ah, it's just a life orb. But now there is also that over there. But now there is a little bit of a problem. Examine what happens if we run down this supercharge and up that one. So we're supercharged right now. Oh, we're, si we're still supercharged, okay. 
I seem to recall that if you go up a supercharge, you actually lose a level of supercharge, but apparently that's not the case. Anyway, here's something that this stage apparently doesn't tell us, which I thought it did. So I guess we wouldn't lure it in until, like, the next home world, probably. You can chain supercharges. So we're at supercharge level 1, now we're at level 2. And then I can fail to make that jump. Because it's kind of pixel perfect. There we go. Now you heard that jerk, didn't you? Now if we go around here, like we did before, and we get a good look at this guy, because he doesn't run away. He has nowhere to go. He's laughing at us, but he knows he's uh, just going to be a dead son of a bitch. laughing in the face of his own demise. Anyway, that is all of the eggs, and there are a lot of them in this stage. Um, we still have 75 gems left. Also, how do I get down? That's my best bet. I wish I could tell you for sure, Tyrion. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually go back to where we started. Because what's not obvious here is that there is an alternate path right over here. Did I get that gem? Okay. Just barely. I only got a couple of places to hover from here, but uh, those are all backward. We need to go over here. Puts us all the way back here. Cool. All right. We're almost to the end of that loop, too.
That's not all, though. Now there's still... this jerk. I think we need to go back outside, possibly. Damn near fall off the edge again. Now fortunately I can kind of base myself on the um, the mini-map here. This would not uh, be a feature that I would have access to in the original game. And now I can tell that I need to go from here, around here, to this guy. And that's all. 100%. Out of here. Time to go fight us a blowhard. Once I remember where the portal is. There it is. Yeah, they don't get any bigger than 500 with one exception, which kind of makes sense. Let me see this game, you tell yourself you never complain about the 100 coin star in Mario games. Honestly, I think I would generally um, struggle more with those 100 coin stars. Sometimes it's literally trying to pull coins out of your ass. It's not great. Uh, which way do I go? Oh, dragon here. And nothing else other than a couple of gems. Eltair. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And uh neither do I. Who are you again? Um I'm out of here. Oh goodbye out of here. Say hello to Spyro for me. So that's back to start, I think. And imagine finding one or two gems. Yeah, that's uh that is true.
It was added in two and then kind of removed in most of three. Like it becomes an unlockable power up. There we go. Down you go. And the last two gems up here. Nice straightforward stage. And we can actually use the return home portal. Now one thing that I do miss about um, the original that's not in this is that animation with all of the gems flying out of your account and into your treasure box. Anyway, time for a flight level. Let's see if we can figure this one out uh, without my having to look anything up. I know that there is one of these where if I flame one of the um, one of the signpost fairies. That is actually a um, skill point. Oh, I did get an achievement, Hot Wings 2. Ah. Yep. I missed the chest and I also missed the plane. For some reason, I decided to do this course in reverse, which seemed to have been a bad idea. So let's just do it as I was trying to do it previously. go the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Uh, where's the other one? Ah, <sighs> all right.
No. I don't know where the last one is. Is this really how I lose? Wow. Alright. I don't agree with that. Okay, I would have gotten them all there, but then I missed one. So I gotta do everything again. <laughs> and it's not a very long course at the very least. It's just repetitive. At least we get to enjoy this nice little music track with the music done by uh, Stuart Copeland of The Police, I believe. I say that like the music in in this series in general is not really particularly memorable for the most part but it's a good sound like there are only a couple of songs that I actually like would actively remember from trying to think of a Spyro tune anyway we did it And with that, we have cleared everything in the Magic Crafters home world. So you better friggin believe that we have all of the uh, dragon eggs that we need. Thank you, Spyro, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. Hop aboard for the Beast Maker's world if you're ready. Would you like to go? Unfortunately, yes. And I say unfortunately because Beast Makers is uh is home to one of the most insidious stages in the entire trilogy. Inspire everyone's always sees the soundtrack, you know you would have loved if it. Yeah. Especially the first game had the best sound to it. Sparks, please. Bruno, tell us about this new world. Nasty North has turned an owl swamp into an electrified 
your feet. <sighs> and it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. I think that line, like, I'm sure it was, I think that was actually added after the fact. So I guess that there, there were a little bit more changes to the dialogue than I remember there being. There is Misty Bog. I got no beef with Misty Bog. It's fine. I think there is a... Um, there might be a skill point for flaming all of the mushrooms. As our flight stage. Definitely not big on the flight stage, but I don't specifically have a beef against that. Now that was pretty satisfying, let's let's be real there. Cletus. Much better delivery, in my opinion, in the original. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go. And then he looks kind of up and to the side pensively. Definitely my favorite one to find in the original game. I definitely do not have beef against Cletus. My beef is against this goddamn level. Treetops. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Definitely one stage that's going to make a lot of Spyro players flinch. Just to hear the name. Unfortunately, we're not going to have to deal with that stage until after we have cleared everything else out here. And get that gem without triggering the, uh, the balloonist. I forget what our objective is. But I think it's uh, back to finding dragons. I think to in order to get over there, we need to do it from here, if I'm not mistaken. for this area, Metalhead. Go and open this lockbox. I 
I think that now that we've actually gotten over there, there might be... No? Okay. I thought I thought there would be a um, whirlwind, but apparently not. I remember there being a whirlwind. Maybe we actually have to clear Metalhead in order for the whirlwind to show up. So the sense that I'm getting here is that it's back near the start of the stage. There's Ter Terrace Village. Ah, gotcha. And there we go. And that is 100% of what is in the home world. Let's go into Terrace Village. Let's delay the inevitable. I think if I recall this stage is a bit meandering skydiving. Don't do it. Don't do it. Actually, actually don't do it because there's nothing but abyss over there. And it really stings. Actually, I'm kind of getting the sense that they actually did get rid of all the quadrupedal um, dragon models in this game. They're all bipedal except for Spyro. Oh, there's a rocket here. Oh, that was real rude game. Putting a metal enemy next to a um, next to a big enemy.
There's another locked box there. A strong box, rather. Didn't miss anything, did I? I don't think so. Because it wasn't Russian and Clank made in part because Insomniac felt Spyro not being able to hold things too limiting. I don't know. I don't have near as much experience with Ratchet and Clank as with Spyro. And Spyro's really just Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. Indeed. But yeah, my, m most of my Spyro knowledge is limited to the original trilogy and the GBA trilogy. And by the way, I have no plans of doing the GBA trilogy on stream. That is something that if someone really wants to see it, they can request it. That is a request that I will honor. It ain't gotta be pretty, but it's doable. Enter the Dragonfly might take some doing. Because that's actually not a game that I have, so I would have to go find it. There is one game that I remember that I started playing that was a Spyro game. I don't remember which one it was. But I do remember that I was very disappointed that everything kind of exploded into gems when I killed it. And like, the game wasn't so much a collect-a-thon anymore like it, like it used to be. And I was just immediately disappointed. Skill point? For what? Very well that unlike Crash, Spyro was not treated well at all after the original trilogy. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Like the original trilogy was great. The GBA trilogy was, in my opinion, okay. It wasn't outright offensive. It was a little jank to play because it was a much smaller field of uh, field of vision. But the rest of the games were all. Eh. Now there should be another rocket somewhere around here. Just don't remember where it is. What was it like over there? Yeah, okay. I remember things sometimes. Who said I didn't? Surely not me.
It is a little annoying that I actually have to come to a full stop in order to, uh, in order for Sparks to do his thing. Too short. And they're back out this way, apparently. Yeah. Or not. Oh yeah. They're pro they probably are this way. Well, that's not the right way though. I have to follow the Higurik Brick Road. Where are you, last two gems? There they are. Two singles. And you know what? I think the um the return home portal is not far away, so let's go ahead and take it. It's right in there. Okay, let's see. Oh, Misty Bog sounds nice. Getting destroyed by everything doesn't sound as nice. I should check, by the way. Um, skill points. No electric floor damage. Okay, so that's how I got that. So Arzen's reached a tricky platform. Peacekeepers scare six norks into tents. I was right about Town Square. Burn the hidden pink tulip. Burn the hidden painting. Ride a druid platform for ten seconds. I was not correct about the mushrooms. And the rest is all pretty much in front of us currently. Anyway, Misty Bog. Ira, please. I feel like he's not supposed to go up that high. Dang it. See, this is one of the songs that I would actually remember from Spyro. Mostly because it is used, uh, well, a variant of it is used as the credits theme for the entire trilogy. You gotta be careful around these guys. Because their melee attack actually has some reach to it. I 
I'm not sure how I managed to not take damage there. I clearly got captured. Alright, Roscoe. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Unfortunately, we are out of the sparks. Deadly combat frogs, which may or may not be worse than the battle toads. I mean, at the very least, I don't think the attack frogs have a um, severe case of acne. Let's see, where am I meant to be going here? The answer is this way. This little satisfying string of enemies there. There's also that way. Out for these guys. And I hate that they mix these guys with the ones that you have to charge because you really can't charge the attack frogs. Get the gem. Strategic victory. Damon, come on that. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no. Why, I remember. Uh, uh gotta go. Anything over this side? Looks like no. This left pretty much exists in order to get us back. Or I can just flub the jump apparently. Uh, at least now we have sparks back with us. Some of the geometry in this game is questionable. I think we gotta go over there now. Which we had started going over there, but uh, took the other way around to 100% this puppy.
All right, Zeke. What you got? Thank you for releasing me. That was a very strange design you have there, sir. Yeah. Hey, charging the boar is a bad idea. Apparently boars charge out. That was a jerk move. There was no other way to describe that. That was just a real jerk move. And up here is game. Dang. Ow. Boars attack using their front while I attack using my front. So where my horns and my fire-breathing mouth are. Bubba. Come on, Bubba. Let's play some Bubba Bobble. Charge them and flame them. We are dragons after all. That's all the dragons. Now I'm trying to remember where. Okay. So I need to fly from here to this. And then on to this, so I can climb this and get these gems. Now what though? That's the problem right now is I'm not really sure what my next move is and I don't have sparks here to help me. I guess I could do this. I see some gems over there. And now I get to the point where I really need Sparks as hell. So let's hope we can find some critters nearby. There we go. Critter over there. Not that I'm seeing. Oh, 
It's gonna turn out that I've missed something real dumb. Oh. Well, that was a little out of the way, I guess. Time to return home. Okay, that boar just kind of perished of its own accord, I guess. Anyway, the only regular stage left is this one here. I guess we should probably get it over with. Oh wait! Look at the clock! We don't have time to do that tonight! It's like I planned this or something. I didn't actually plan this. Um, but yeah. We did in fact make it to the end of time, so... I guess we're gonna do treetops next time. <laughs> I am in no hurry to do treetops, let me assure you. So that's going to do for tonight. Thank you to Zero and Tyrion for hanging out, and, uh, yes, exactly. Um, and for Zero for the, for the sub, the next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m. Atlantic uh, Standard Time. It is the Code Creator stream. Probably going to work on member stickers, might be working on something else. It's also probably going to be the last Code Creator stream on this channel because I am planning on moving it to a different service. The next stream after that is going to be on Saturday at 9pm Atlantic uh, Standard Time. It is the extra long run stream. We're going to start Chapter 6 of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Things are getting real. You don't want to miss it if you're into that game. Uh, following that is going to be Sunday Super Shuffle, Sunday at 8 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time or later. Going to do some Archipelago shenanigans. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next regular long run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Where we're going to do treetops, I guess. And probably, for that matter, finish Spyro 1 and advance to Spyro 2. This is not a very long game. I'll Try to mix up the, the mods a little bit so that you can get a little bit of a taste of the different things that are available out there. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. I'm Cool here if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.